you know, in this country for several years now, we have more deaths due to motor, due to prescription opioids than to motor vehicle accidents. And unfortunately, we're seeing an increase in heroin use as well, as um, heroin has become more available um, across the country, and people swi have, are switching between from prescription opioids to heroin as the supply of prescription opioids is not available. And as we know, treatment um, is not as available as it needs to be, too. We have waiting lists. We have people dying on waiting lists. And... Um, we need to do better in that sense, but there's a lot of hope. Um, I think we're going in the right direction and making treatment more available to people. We increasingly recognize that opiate addiction is a complex medical disorder with significant psychosocial influences as well. This is similar to other chronic complex medical disorders um, that are not amenable to a quick treatment. This is not an acute appendicitis where we can go in and just surgically remove it um, and people will be okay. So, you know, our research has consistently shown that trying to treat this with just going to drug rehab and detoxing, that over 80% of people will fail and relapse. And with opiate addiction, it's very, very unforgiving. So if you've detoxed, lost your physical dependence, and you lapse, that may be the last time you're alive because opioids decrease your respirations and one bad decision can be your last one. So we had um, a large clinical trial. We were one of the sites for this trial that was evaluating a novel treatment. There are four rods that get implanted um, underneath the skin in a minor surgical procedure and Dr. Jonathan Fedick here at UK did our implants for us on all of our subjects. We were one of the sites, there were over 20 sites across the country that were participating, and this was comparing these um, implants that each contained buprenorphine, and we found that the rods performed just as well in maintaining abstinence and preventing relapse as the current standard therapy, and in some analyses actually were superior. So just um, recently, the FDA approved the rods, the, the trade name is probufine, and they are now available for patients to use. So this was, this was exciting because it, it's not frequent that you could get to see a drug in development actually make it to the market and impact patients. And so I think it's great that Kentucky, and specifically UK, was able to be part of that in the Center on Drug and Alcohol Research. So it was very exciting.